Hello folks, this is Tom from Anti-Proton.com and as you know I like lead because I use it for my um, gamma spectrometer, I use it for shielding and this right here is a big thick chunk of lead. Bam! Big heavy thing. But it occurred to me I need way way more lead than that and so I bought a whole bunch. Here's a box. This box whew, is like 50 or 60 pounds, even though it's so tiny, 50 to 60 pounds of lead. Talk about abusing the flat rate system. Anyhow, I've got another one coming tomorrow, and then I have another one back in the lab for 132 pounds. 132 pounds of lead. Yeah. Anyway, this lead is going to get painted tomorrow, and the reason you paint the lead is so that you can hold it without hurting yourself, because lead does go through your fingers. And you can always wear a little, you know, glove, glove, uh, gloves. Remember, whenever working with lead, you use protection. Wear a rubber. But anyway, so here's lead. And um, why I'm running around with a, like, Renaissance Festival dagger, I don't know. But whatever. So anyhow, I've already cut off the um, parts of this that have my, well, you know, my um, address on them. Never cut towards you like I'm doing right this moment. Never do what I'm doing. Never cut towards yourself. Because it's wrong. It must be why I'm doing it. Here's a piece of paper, which I will quickly check. And yep, all that's correct. Okay. There's that. And inside is the lead. Ugh. Oh my god, that's heavy. Oh my god. God, and they had to fill full all this cardboard or else it would have like fallen apart. Wouldn't have even made it here most likely. Okay, now let me get this out. And by the way, also, let me cover up my name on it. But um I'll cover it up with this ruler. I got my issue of physics today in the mail. And in my physics today magazine. I got some really interesting ideas for what to do with um my lead and gamma spectrometer. As you know, the American Physical Society does all kinds of things with science, and they love ugh, spectrometers of various types. Never cut towards you like I am, but I have to, because the uh, lab, lab assistant Drist is sitting right there. Lab assistant Drist, say hi to the camera, lab assistant Drist. He's over here supervising to make sure that I handle the lead correctly. Lab assistant Drist, I do believe, is certified to handle lead. Is that right, Drist? Always have a lab assistant. Ugh. He's studying muons currently. Okay, I think it's about time to don the gloves. Now, t today I'm not doing much of anything other than just inventorying this. Tomorrow, when I get my next shipment, I'm going to put them out outside and I'm going to spray them with the paint. And either tomorrow, late tomorrow night, or possibly... Um, Friday morning, or sorry, wait, today's Wednesday, so either tomorrow, which is Thursday night, or Friday morning, which is the next day, I'm going to start my background tests, and hopefully that'll be done sometime Friday, and then this weekend I will begin tests. I'm going to do a rainwater test, I'm going to retest a lot of the stuff on my isotopic project I've been working on. I'm also going to weigh some of this. Let's see. Here they are. Hmm, you can't see them, can you? Now you can. Bars of lead. Look at these things. <laughs> lead, it says. What do you think it is? Uranium? Alright. Now, let's see how much they weigh. Where's my paper towel? A paper towel. Put the paper towel on the scale. So I don't get lead contamination. Turn that on. And... Okay, the tear is good. Let's put one of these on it and see what I get. Hopefully it doesn't break the scale. Alright, what are we in? We're in kilograms. 2.71 kilograms. Switch the unit to pounds. So 5.15 pounds. Five 5.12. Good. These are all coming out nice and uniform. That's what I wanted. 
Ooh, look, that's nice and rainbow color. It hasn't oxidized yet, I don't think. I think that's what it does before oxidizes. No, 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 no. Lab assistant dress away from the lead. 5.126. Wow, these are accurate. Five point ten. Five point eleven. Good God. These things are really accurate. Is that five point eleven or is that ounces? Now let me make sure I'm not being inaccurate. Oh look! It's not as much of being accurate as I am of being inaccurate. It's not five point point two four. It's five pounds two point four ounces. But still, we're within an ounce. Each one of these is within an ounce. So, now let's do the measurements and make sure their measurements are right. All right, lengthwise, each one of these is, that's eight and a half. They're supposed to be 8.75, so they're maybe a little short on that. Width, these are less than two inches. These are two or 1.75 inches. I need to fuss with the company a little bit. These don't measure up exactly to what I wanted. Hmm. They're not quite an inch tall. That could be a problem for me. Let's see. If I want these... to fill up here... To go over top of this wheel, I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five. That's exactly how many I originally plotted out. So that's fine. So that works. All right. Well, I guess we're doing fine. Well, anyhow, this has been Tom from anti-proton.com. I let you guys know that rain testing will commence, but I'm going to be testing rain samples that have set for several days, and the radon progeny have decayed. The reason I'm doing this so I can look for other things. Because we all now know that the reason that the rain is radioactive when it falls is because of right on progeny. Anybody who denies this, well, tinfoil hat time, I guess. But basically put, um, of course I really didn't have to prove it, I guess, did I? It's been known for like decades. But you know, you always have to prove everything. And it, it's actually not a bad idea to prove something. But now we want to see if there's any other contamination in the rain. Because all that, uh, all, all, any real contamination that's in the rain is going to be masked by the rain on washout. I mean, you're never going to detect it with a Geiger counter, that's for sure. And you might not even detect it with a gamma spectrometer. But when I test it with this new setup, we'll see if it's really there. This has been Tom from anti-proton.com. And uh, remember, when holding dangerous materials, always use the rubber.